Today, electric vehicles are becoming more and more popular. This trend began with Elon Musk in 2008 when he presented his first Tesla Roadster electric car, which is almost not inferior in performance to other cars. This led to a real revolution and soon the rest of the largest automakers rushed to make their electric cars. However, while brands such as Nissan, Hyundai and Tesla were successfully mastering the electric transport market, the aviation Israeli company decided to bet on the creation of electric air transport. And they recently announced that their first all-electric passenger plane will be ready to take off in a couple of weeks. The aviation company was founded by three entrepreneurs, Omer Bar Yohe, Amri Regev, and Aviv Tzidan back in 2015. From the very beginning, they decided to focus on the creation of aircraft, believing that this was the future. And by the way, they are right. The Japanese government, known for its technological innovations, is already hard at work creating legislation and traffic rules for air transport. During the first three years, the company actively developed an unmanned vehicle to test its aerodynamic calculations and solve control issues. A year later, the company entered into a partnership with Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University ERAU, to help developers find original solutions to technical problems. Having tested the unmanned model, the developers set about creating a full-fledged air transport called ALICE. In 2019, they were able to catch the interest of investors and raised $200 million for the project. At the same time, pre-orders were received. The Cape Air Company from the USA immediately ordered 92 aircrafts for $4 million each. This made it possible to speed up the work and at the beginning of 2020, the first prototype was ready. Along the line, a serious fire in the battery compartment destroyed the company's work. This took the company another two years to create a new prototype while simultaneously solving the ignition problems of batteries. The final model is very similar to a conventional passenger aircraft, with the same wings, engines at the base of the tail, as well as a T-tail. It's a little over 18 meters long and over 4 meters high. The total takeoff weight is 6,350 kilograms. If there is more, then the plane simply will not be able to take off. For people in cargo, 1,134 kilograms are allotted. The maximum speed of the cruiser is 287 miles, which is only half that of the Boeing 737. The batteries will last for an hour of flight, enough to fly about 815 kilometers. Separately, it should be said about the cabin of the aircraft that it is equipped with nine seats and two pilot seats. Each of them is equipped with an ergonomic backrest, the possibility of adjusting the backrest, and a 180-degree turn. Near each seat, there is a small table for gadgets or bags. The portholes are much larger than standard ones, which will allow passengers to enjoy beautiful views all the way. There is a separate place for luggage, and additional sound insulation will allow us to practically not feel the traffic. At the same time, the company notes that they have three versions of the Alice ready, passenger, elite, and cargo. The first one is intended for regular transportation and will be used more like a taxi. The elite one will be convenient for business people who are eager to solve some business-related issues during flights. There will be internet access and a smart table with the ability to recharge gadgets. The cargo version will work as a high-speed courier transport. In this version, the developers have lightened the weight of the aircraft as much as possible to increase the payload. The free space is 450 cubic feet. As noted in the company itself, Alice has already passed several tests. At first, the main component of the transport were tested – engines, batteries, dashboard. Particular attention was paid to batteries as the most dangerous source of ignition. Then, ground tests were carried out. The aircraft accelerated to a predetermined speed on a special track, but without taking off. Thus, the performance of all controls were checked. At the same time, various emergencies were simulated – the failure of some systems, a collision with birds, and others. Only full-fledged flight tests remained. They were planned back in 2021 but had to be cancelled due to bad weather conditions. This year, the company is determined to carry out the last tests in order to begin mass production of the aircrafts in 2023. At the same time, they plan to continue to improve the model. They plan to increase the carrying capacity to 40 people, reduce maintenance costs by 70%, and increase the power reserve.